welcome back to my channel and i hope you're doing great in today's video i'll be cleaning my living room and um everything is a mess do you know what i'm here to motivate you guys and i'm here to keep my house clean tidy up so i can enjoy my space so i wanted to do a quick update um i don't know which one i should start with remember last time okay let me start with this one okay okay <laughs> remember last time guys um was it last month or two months ago legato simply legato sent me this um here are the screws um i'm going to uh, mount this thing on the wall today i was supposed to do it last night but our trail didn't have that um the trail screws or whatever they call them to fit this one so um i asked francis to buy them and um on my second last previous video i showed you this christmas cloth that i actually wanted to make the frames only to find out that if i do more frames and they may the house will be too much so i decided to go with one frame and i will see between these two which one i'm going to put on my tv stand and maybe the other one i'll just um fold it and just throw it on my couch i'll just see how i'm going to play with these two babies and yesterday francis managed to make the frame for me he made this frame so you guys it's going to be nice on the wall but i'm gonna put it up i don't want to do too much decorations but i want everything to my living room to have that christmas vibe and the tree I'm not sure when I'm going to buy the tree and all thanks to Pohishi Sahata because well that was a real plug that um, even at Pepco they have Christmas trees and the decorations I'm going for that one and yeah I love this baby guys I don't know if you can see it's very nice and then what else yeah I think that's that so let's get started let's start this cleaning motivation the cold evening If it's your first time here hello and you are very welcome and this channel we do cleaning motivation and mommy duties so if you really love and enjoy such content kindly go ahead and click on the subscribe button and if you are a regular member of this family thank you so much for the constant support i really really appreciate the support that you guys give me because i don't think my channel was going to be this big if it was not because of you gradually we are growing we are getting there by the grace of god and um you know you guys i always come up with a topic for my first overs it's so funny that um today i did not even plan actually this video i was supposed to do it tomorrow but because i was bored and i just felt like oh, you know what let me just take my phone and start with this thing and the more i I clean that's when I just decided like I'm just gonna clean um, the entire house for the day and I my hope my hope is that um, by the end of this video you guys will get motivated and stand up from wherever you are and start to clean your place start to clean your house get motivated So let me just um, 
tell you guys what um what happened last week basically nothing big but you guys know every second last week of the month i start to do my content planning so i was doing content planning for december and you guys you know that i upload on mondays and thursdays so as i was planning writing out the ideas i was like oh my god it means on thursday it will be the first of december which is good because on the other hand i want to try the, this vlogmas thing so <laughs> i was so happy i was really happy that um I'm gonna be doing vlogmas and start this journey I know it's not gonna be easy and one thing that I don't want is to demotivate myself um, I'm very aware how training is gonna be because I tried vlogtober and it was really not easy that's why I was like <sighs> actually it's not like I just decided to quit but I was not feeling well and I felt like I was left behind so I just as I was sitting and writing the content I'm like okay there's a lot of ideas and the only thing that is gonna make things to be worse is the execution you know sometimes it's easy to say something but when it comes to action it's another different story so I really don't want that thing now I really want to push and all those things that might be a distraction to me I just want to put them aside or I might as well use them use my distraction to do something <laughs> so um like abigail okay let me just make an example of abigail i know sometimes when i'm doing videos she might even want to take over my vlogs but you know what i'm gonna use her i'm gonna use her so i wanted um actually to okay we have this whatsapp group um of the youtubers um not from South Africa, but they're not. Let me not just say, yeah, South Africa, because we are coming from different provinces, different states. So we do communicate. Uh, we communicate almost every day, and we share ideas. So I just show them like how I'm planning this thing, and I felt like you know what? If I share here on YouTube now, it means the pressure will be too much. The pressure will be too much, meaning. Um, okay, people are expecting like on Monday it should be this video, on this Tuesday it should be this one, but it's really not gonna be easy. So, I'm just you guys, you should just be on the lookout because, um, I think from tomorrow I'll be actually from today is Thursday, and um, as I'm editing this video, it's actually Monday, but on Thursday, when you guys will be watching this. Just know that there will be another upcoming video tomorrow on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, like every day until the 25th of December. I don't know if I'm going to do it until the 31st or until the 25th, but then I will see and I really can't wait to challenge myself. Um, I hope you guys, you are enjoying this video and just let me know if you'll be joining vlogmas are you ready for the challenges are you ready for for getting tired but you know what guys my advice is um when it's um vlogmas like this my advice is something that i've noticed you don't want to upload videos that are like 30 minutes longer every day people are not even gonna watch them so try to make something short even if it can be 15 to 20 minutes maybe every day trust me people can still watch until the end you know this youtube thing is really not easy it's really not easy when it comes to the view okay the views are there but you know we want people who will watch until the end so um i'm really excited about december and um you can just comment down below and let me know your plans as well for December because man, this December is just, um, I don't know, but I just don't feel it, you know. So I've decided to just spend it with um, Francis and Abigail, just the three of us. Even for Christmas, I want it to be different. It will be our first time spending Christmas together and um yeah because the first christmas we spent together francis friends from johannesburg 
came they slept here for like two days and yeah they came with their kids as well and i think abigail was six months by then yeah so the house was too much crowded you guys you see how my house is so small but people were all over the place it was fun we had a great time it was okay and then that was like 2020 2021 last year christmas my sister and her family came over and they slept um they slept over as well and they left on the 26 or 27 i don't remember and this year that goes crazy it will be me abigail and francis because on christmas one thing that i've noticed okay not really on christmas people they do like to visit us and it's not like we can we will tell them no we enjoy having people around us and yeah let, was it yeah it was last year we did um a braai and we invited it was not only my sister um and some lady was coming from Cameroon. she came with her her kids as well and some two guys from Cameroon as well they were here so yeah it was really fun it was really fun so this year <laughs> i can't wait that's why i'm laughing because i i don't know how it's gonna be because i know if it's just the three of us even the pressure for me to cook fancy food won't be there but it's something that i want to do i want to challenge myself and us here in south africa we have um i can say four holidays four main holidays that people celebrate here during december is the 16th the 25th the 25th and the 31st i've noticed something um just please i know i'm talking too much comment down below and let me know if in your country more especially because i know my viewers are not only from south africa comment down below and let me know if you guys you celebrate in new years on the 31st or on the first i know it's on the first but as what we do the first like the whole day is just holiday it's fun it's nice i know that first i think it's holidays almost everywhere in the world but for us you know it's all about partying it's all about it's it's i don't even know how to describe but if you're sort of okay you you, you really understand what i'm talking about and then at 12 a.m that's when we we shoot the cricket the fireworks like i really can't wait but i noticed that with Cameroon, they celebrated on the first and you know how they celebrate it it's more like maybe someone invites you to their house you go and you eat you guys you just have some great time you just go there and eat you see how you spend christmas with the family inviting people it's more like that on the first of january but i for us mm, it's just too boring i'm telling you guys for us <laughs> if you're sort of forget you will really understand what i'm talking about i remember last year i was like um to francis we are going um home because uh, last year i went home on the 28th i came back on the 2nd of january i told him like can you please buy um some fireworks for abigail say for abigail if you're still small i said okay buy for me so for what i said ah oh, you can't even ask me for what so how how why would i sp why would i spend my money and waste it on things that you're not gonna even you're just gonna shoot and then they're finished um, and those things are dangerous i'm like what are you talking about and then later he told me like you know what in cameroon we don't use these things at all they are forbidden they are forbidden for using fireworks so i was like yo yo your cameroon is boring then <laughs> but you know when when you just imagine guys you don't have fireworks people are there shooting and you're just looking at them and you're just ah, no it's, it's really not nice but this year because i'm going to spend the whole month the whole december with my family i am going to buy them and i'm going to share with you guys so i can show this man that fireworks are fun fireworks are just amazing they just he doesn't understand we want to see we want to play with those dangerous things that's what we like you know that's what we like so yeah you guys hey i really can't wait honestly i really can't wait because already i'm having this vibe for december you know i'm having this vibe new year christmas and oh another thing 
Is that it? Oh, no, this morning I was talking with Francis. I'm like, hey, you know, my nephew was here and he asked me, when was the last time I cooked seven colors? And Francis was there laughing like, yeah, that's, that's a good question. When was the last time you don't want to cook it for us? I'm like, no, because you guys, you feel like I just put too much food on the plate. Because in Cameroon, you guys, you can put only two things. It's either the pap and the meat and the vegetable. But with seven colors, it's something different it's really something different i'm going to insert a picture of seven colors food so you guys can see how it looks like i don't know why they call it seven colors others they call it several colors but it's seven colors we call it again sunday course sunday food you know sundays guys after church you must eat um, nice food i know people after church they just go straight to the restaurant but uh it's okay if you guys you are just tired and you don't feel like cooking but as for me, um, it's something that I have to do. I have to wake up early in the morning. From this entire December, every Sunday, I'm going to cook for my family. Something that I want to challenge myself as well. Like, wake up at 6, start to, meaning Saturdays. On Saturdays, I must go to buy. On every Saturday, I must go to town and buy vegetables if I don't have vegetables here. So meaning Friday or Saturday, I, I can just write down what I want to cook. But you guys, it's going to be nice. I really can't wait for this vlogmas. I can't wait to show you guys what I'm going to be cooking. Like, I'm just praying for the best. And yeah, I was talking about cooking Sunday food. It's more like you wake up early in the morning, you start to cook. For me, it can take something like um, two to three hours if you really want to. If I really want to cook like seven colors, really seven colors, and then around twelve we eat or around one we eat, and then yeah, that's it. But most of the time, you can do like that and then go to church, and then yeah, because guys, like, this thing of going to church, and I don't know. Every time when I plan to go there, something bad must happen. Even recently. Something bad happened, so I'm not even gonna share it because hey, yeah, 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 I don't know, or maybe God is talking to me using another way, like you don't have to go to that church. I don't know, but then that's another topic for another day. So you guys can be you can be open with me and because when it comes to church I have a lot of things to, to talk about. But I don't wanna talk too much here. I'm just going to you know let you guys enjoy this vlog and thank you so much for watching this far i really appreciate and do continue to watch and please share me out subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i will definitely see you guys on my next one what do i mean by the next one i mean um tomorrow yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow bye for now